Hello everybody and welcome back to PGR Brusda. So today we're going to be creating a brand new area in our business park. We've already got the bees and now we're going to be doing some fish. So this is definitely diversifying to say the least. Now I want to give first of all a big thank you to somebody called Steve who is a subscriber of mine and sent me the links and also the suggestions to do the fish farming. To be honest without Steve I probably would never have even thought of doing it so yeah thank you Steve for that. Also thank you to Nick the Hick who is another YouTuber, a smaller YouTuber, but I can't really see why, it should be bigger. Um, but yeah, thank you to him for producing some very good review videos of the fish farming. I've watched them and they've been very useful, um, not only to understand how to actually do the fish farming, but to see exactly what the mod is like. So that is loosely what I'm basing this video on, one of his. Obviously I'm not copying, because that is not the way to go forward, but, um, I will certainly be using those videos as guidance. So yeah, thank you to Nick the Hick, a bit of a shout out for you. But first what we've got to do is go and take these bales over to the sell point. And yes, they are ridiculous. They are completely top heavy and very dangerous. But yeah, hopefully we get there in one piece. The possibility is there for us to tip this thing over, so I need to go very carefully. We'll put the beacons on to just scare off the wildlife in case they're in the way when it tips over. No, not really, for the traffic. But yeah, let's just go over there. It is this way. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that is scary, that thing. A single axle trailer with bales stacked six high. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm not concentrating, I'm looking at the trailer. Okay, this is terrible. Why is this not one of the unrealistic videos? Okay. I'm gonna jump cut. I'll see you at the bale cell point. Here we are. Bail cell point is just across the other side of the road. Now, annoyingly, I actually did get rid of the uh, ground modification roller, which is why I require today to put the foundations of the fish farm in, which is annoying. We're going to have to get it again. I will check first of all though to make sure I actually did get rid of it, otherwise, we're going to have two. It was leased, so that's why I got rid of it in the first place. So, uh, yeah, it'd probably not be a bad thing if this thing did tip over into the cell point, but that would still be a bit tricky to get it up again. So let me just try and reverse into there. Obviously, it's very tall and it could hit the barn. Although there should be a bit of clearance there. Take the straps off first. Good. Perfect. Okay. We now have an empty trailer. At least there is no risk of it tipping over. And what we're going to do is take this to the store. We'll probably leave it there for the time being. And then we'll swap it with the roller. So yeah, it's not too far. Just go down here. What we're going to do is most likely put a concrete base in and there are several parts to the fish farming. We're not going to do it all this week, this weekend I should say. We're going to do the first half. So the fish production and the caviar fish food production. Uh, that is, I would say, going to be the best start. There is also fish smoking, a fish smoking production plant and I think there is something else as well but we'll get on to that probably next week. It's going to take long enough to get this thing set up. This is the store. So we'll just reverse the trailer into a parking space if there is one. Just in this general area. Okay, so if I just put it here. Good. And then, I'll just check, yep, I did in fact get rid of it. So, miscellaneous, and it is this one here. We can choose a different colour. Which colour should we go with? Uh, probably blue. No real reason for it, it puts the price up, but it just keeps it a bit different. I think you can actually use this thing on the front, which may be easier. We do have a front three-point linkage. So we'll stick it on there, if we line up correctly. Yeah, it will save our neck instead of having to look backwards all the time. You may have also noticed we did get another government grant to do this with. Money isn't an issue on this map, we're not going to be doing it too seriously. It isn't the realistic series, so... Yeah, we can add money whenever we, we require it, really. Uh, right, so let me just choose while we're driving the best ground type. 
and go with either concrete or asphalt. I th yeah, I think we'll go with concrete. It's going to be the best. Grass removal, yes. I'm not sure if that is set up correctly, but hopefully it is. And then, what we need to do is choose our site. Now, the fish farm is going to be much bigger than the bee farm. The beekeeping area. And to be honest, I haven't decided whether or not we should put a, a fence around it as well. I suppose we could do eventually, but there still needs to be some access for vehicles. So, I think what we might do is branch off the track that we put in. I'll probably create the entrance now off this gravel track. Um, it can start pretty much straight away after the bees, although we'll leave this section here before that pole over there in case we have to expand the bee farm. So yeah, we'll put it here. The entrance can come in from this way, like this. It's not going to be totally on the track and it can also come in from the other way as well, leaving a grass triangle in the middle. Like this. And then we will turn and the bee production plant can, oh sorry, this is the fish production plant can we just appear somewhere. Uh, talking about bees though, I've got bees in my head. What we should do is just make sure there are no hives which need to be put into the bee houses. Because uh, the production, I think, does... It might not stop, but it slows down, I think, if you don't move them out of the way. The same with the fish farm production. Whenever you're producing the fish or the fish food. Okay, so let me just go around here. This can be one building in this area. Seems a bit of a shame turning all the grassland into concrete. But we're expanding. The business is diversifying. Now if you're thinking or wondering what we're going to be using to create the fish, well, it's not too involved. What you need is water, obviously, and lots of it. And I think you need corn as well. But we'll be doing all that tomorrow. We won't be able to get onto that today. This is just the setting up. The setting up will take a little while. We've also got some more bales to sell, so we may be doing some of that today as well. But if we can just get the buildings in place, that will be fantastic, and then tomorrow we'll be actually producing the fish, and the fish are actually required as well for the caviar. Caviar is basically eggs. So, yeah, you may have eaten some before. Quite expensive. Now we could just drive around in a circle doing this, but I think it would do a neat job if we just go up and down like this, reversing back every time. Uh, from here then, this is going to be one building. I don't think the other building is going to be too far away. There are going to be three. One is the fish production plant, which is the biggest building. Another one is the caviar production building, and then the third one is the cell point. The cell point doesn't have to be here. But I can't really see the need in taking it a long way away when it can be here. I'll turn the beacons off. The beacons do not need to be on. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not too sure where they're going to be. But we'll worry about that later. Again, it may be today, maybe tomorrow. But to be honest, it doesn't take very long to play something. So it will likely be today. looking good and finally this piece here and then we'll go a little bit into the trees there as well just to neaten it up good right so yeah we'll put the biggest building here first of all the fish production farm let's move out of the way they are quite expensive there's nothing cheap about them my tractor is reversing on its own how weird uh, if we just find them on here, now you have to excuse me if I do whiz past it, but I think it's this one here, yes it is. The reason why it's this one is because it's got two water towers. 
and we have to be very careful. Wow, you see, look how big it is. I've completely underestimated it, but you need to be able to have access to the water towers and to the side. So actually, if we were to rotate it, obviously I'm gonna be uh, not placing it now because it's not ready, but something like that, that way around is what we're gonna be doing. And that gives you a good idea of the footprint of this building. So yeah, we're gonna have to make this much bigger first of all. If I just go out a bit here, that would be the best idea. Because not only do we need to have the concrete where the building is sitting, but we also have to have it where we're going to drive around there with the tractor and tanker or a lorry and tanker. It also has to be further out this way as well. How I got it wrong. Okay, that should be okay. I am hoping. So I'm going to continue a little bit off screen here, just doing this, and then I'll return in a second. And then we should be able to buy, or build I should say, our first building. That's all done. Okay, so now it's ready for the production plant to be placed. I'm just going to reverse out of the way. And I'm actually really excited about doing this. I think it's going to be very exciting when we have the two different... Um, businesses set up here. We've got the bees and then the fish and then if we do diversify again and do the fish smoking that's going to be another thing to do so it's going to be very exciting. Uh, right okay so again it needs to be rotated. I don't know the best way to rotate it. Maybe yeah because we have to have access to there too. Yeah like that. That's going to be the best way. We don't have to go right to the back there so that should be fine I'm hoping about here. Let's just hope I did place it in the correct place otherwise it's going to be a bit of a disaster but that's looking pretty good. We can access all these different triggers here. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it still sticks out a bit. Wow, that is ridiculous. Okay, so once again I'm going to go, go off screen in a second and I'm just going to finish off tidying it all up, laying some more concrete it's floating a little bit, but you can't really get it perfect. There we go once again, that is all done. And I've just decided that actually we could put some more interesting things in, in the areas where it's not required. I should have picked it up. Um, just going to cycle through. Yeah, meadow. We could put that back to meadow just here. I will just tidy up the bit I just changed a second ago. But let me just see. Yeah, let me just take a closer look. Yeah, it looks alright, um, but we could obviously do anything here. We could choose a lawn, cultivated plowed, anything. Anything at all. Yeah, I put a lawn in, just there. It makes it look neater, and actually we could, if we wanted to, possibly put a tree in, but it just depends how close to this building it's going to allow us to do that. But that's not a priority. Uh, what we do need to prioritise is actually getting this thing going. So back to concrete and I'll just need it up here. There we go. Okay, so now all we have to do is get the caviar production area and the cell point, which should probably be opposite here because the pilots will be coming off the front of this building and then they can go into the other building to be turned into fish food. Now I know for a fact this other one is much smaller. So we don't have to go over the top. It would fit into this section without too many issues. Um, but yeah, look how this field has changed. This was just a grass field. And now we have a network of different buildings and different businesses. It's amazing what you can do with a piece of land. And there we go. It's done. Now what we have to do is buy the correct building. Oh, by the way, oh, this thing is going to keep creeping backwards. By the way, this thing here is another cell point for fish, in case you're wondering. But the thing we're going to be looking for, really, is this one here. Caviar production. 
So again, we need to make sure the triggers are accessible from the concreted sides and not from the other sides. It looks like this actually requires three to be accessible. So we may have to just expand the concrete area. And then I think eventually we may well put some fencing around here, but we just need to know the footprint first to make sure everything fits in. So yeah, if I just put this roller down and then concrete this area, we'll try and make it a bit more square. That'll be better for when it comes to fencing as well. I will, of course, put the cell point in, but while doing this, I'm gonna have a think about where the best place for it is. Probably going back towards the road. Once again, we're done here. So that's all looking fairly neat. If you imagine a boundary with the fence here, it will look incredibly tidy. Um, just looking at this section, I really don't need to go over the top with this, but I think that that has been uh, turned to concrete where it doesn't need to be. So we could just tidy that up, but it is just you know unnecessary completely. Uh, I'll just choose the correct texture. It's possibly meadow. Oh no, that is different again. Well, it doesn't matter too much. We'll put a curve on here, so that if we have any lorries, they're not going to have to try and struggle around the corner. And I think we probably will have lorries, because we're going to be having a lot of water deliveries. It's going to be amazing how much water this is going to require. Still, that is done again. So now, the final thing is the cell point, which really isn't a priority, but we may as well just do it all in one go. Where shall we put it? Um, I suppose we could put it over this side. It's just going to make it look a bit neater, I suppose. Yeah, because that is the expansion of the bees just there. Don't know. I will have a think. I've decided to put it here, so I'm just producing a teardrop shape gravel area and I, I think it is going to fit in there obviously it's not the biggest of areas which we've just produced but if you look at the size of this building you will see that again it isn't that big I'm just unsure of where the front is yeah that's the front just there so yeah that should be perfect brilliant it's like a village uh, store that kind of thing but that's all well and good I've decided to put the curve entrance into here going that way because it's going to be coming from the fish plant uh, but I suppose we could just put another one going outwards as well the other way otherwise it's going to be quite a tricky turn you'll have to go over the grass there we go right so I think the final thing to do is to go up into the air you can't see it on here but if we go on to the flying around mode we should have the drone if we've gone to here, we can, oh, yeah, you can lift up. And we'll look down at all. Bearing in mind, this used to be, just be a, a grass field and nothing else. And now we've turned it into this. Quite astonishing, really. I mean, it's amazing what you can do with just an open piece of land. That is a very good view. You can see all of our other farms and stuff. Our farm is huge. So many buildings. And now we're just expanding onto here. But there you go. That is the footprint of it. It does look better with fences, as you can see. So it will likely be fenced at some point, but that is going to be quite a big job. If you have any suggestions as to what we can do before I record tomorrow's video, please do let me know, but you're going to have to be very fast, like within the first hour of this video being published. Um, but yeah, that is our fish production plant done. Our caviar plant done. Cell point is in there as well, but we don't have the smokehouse. That is going to be for a future video. So let me just uh, land this drone over here, because what we need to do is just make sure there is nothing which needs to be moved. Oh, there is. There is another one. Now, somebody has pointed this out. Thank you very much to... Who was it? I can't remember your name. I apologise. But every time I jump off here, I always throw it by accident. And today is no exception. Yeah. It's amazing how people pick up on stuff. And I think this is actually the worst ever. I've just flicked it across over here now. Uh, yeah, this is the correct one. Get in. Come on, you're going to have to have bees in you, whether you like it or not. 
The bees want you. Good. Uh, and these are going to have to be emptied as well next time. I'm going to buy the forklift, the, the smaller one. Um, I think it's going to be very handy for this entire area, this whole complex. But before we do finish, I just want to show you a close-up of the fish farm. Obviously the caviar isn't quite as exciting, but still it's interesting. Oh, why do things float? I think it's when the ground isn't perfectly level, but that is floating quite considerably. Yeah, that's weird. Well, we may have to adjust that. I can do. There's the caviar. There's the fish. Caviar with the orange stuff. And I've got stuck in his caviar box. I'm so sorry, but I'm stuck in your box with fish in. There we go. That's it all being packaged up, ready to go to the sell point. And this is where the fish, I think this is where the fish comes in. Yeah, I would say so. Although, as I've never done it before, oh no, it comes to here. Yeah, as I've never done it before, it's quite hard to say. And over here, we've got the fish uh, plants where they actually are in these different pools. At least they will be. You can see the water with fish in. And yeah, it's going to require a lot of water and corn. The corn goes to here, which I'm assuming is just food. It's what you feed them. Um, so yeah, I think if there's one thing which I could say that is bad about with the way I've done this today, it is not checking that everything is perfectly level. But on the whole, it's gone okay. Yeah, the caviar production plant may have to be leveled off. It's quite surprising how high that up that is. I don't know why it's sitting so high up above the ground, but it is. Anyway, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. That's when we're going to be doing all this. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the mod creators for obviously sharing these. I'll put the links below. Thank you to Nick the Hick for the review videos. And thank you to Steve for suggesting these mods. Anyway, yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.